hey, hey, if you have an artistic child and they need a haircut or a perm, it's going to cost you an extra hundred bucks. How do you feel about that? Let's talk about it. Ain't nobody, ain't no, ain't, 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 ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Yes, yes, yes. This is your man, Otis Who, from the Otis Who podcast. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. Aww. Yes, you heard me correctly. Actually, more specifically, this is going on in New York City. And for the record, this might surprise you. I don't have a problem with it. But let me, before I get too far ahead of myself, in New York City, there is this hairstylist who put out her price list, okay? And it specifically states that for autism services, three plus hours is going to be $100 extra and the people in the internet world are having a frenzy they are going they're going against her they're attacking her and of course the parents who are who have autistic children i understand i can understand their uproar i really do but i'm going to come from the side of the business owner Probably a very unpopular position to be in, but it is what it is. From the position of the business owner and from the position of the individual who's actually dealing with the autistic child. First of all, not all autistic children, for the record, have behavioral issues that would not allow the particular uh, salon uh, person or the or barber to be able to deal with them. Not all autistic kids do not behave in that behavior. But for the record, I have been in a situation or I have witnessed situations that it's very difficult to deal with an autistic child and getting their hair cut or washed or whatever the situation may be. Sometimes they're sensitive to the sound, just the vibration against their head. Any number of things could trigger an autistic child i understand and i'm well aware of that and also too i know it takes longer longer to perform those particular services on the autistic child and i know the parents i get it take yourself out the equation for a minute which i know it's hard to do get the emotion out of it if it's going to require the individual to take longer to service your child, then of course they need to be compensated for that. I understand your plight. Yes, I do. But at the same time, it's business. But I digress. Let's get straight into it. I want you to see this. It's not an actual video, but it's the actual flyer that this young lady here in New York City is actually putting out for her services. Again, I don't have a problem with it, but let's read it. Shout out to the Neighborhood uh, Talk on Instagram, and they have a presence here on uh, YouTube as well. So if you don't mind, go to their page, let them know that I'm regurg regurgitating this story for them, most definitely. Uh, but let's read this real quick. Let me see. Neighbors, these hairstylists are getting out of hand. Well, you can see where what side or what slant that the neighbors, uh, whoever wrote this article, is uh, slanted on. She's going on the side of being in the outrage category. I'm not. These her stylists are getting out of hand. A New York City stylist is being called out for charging clients with autism an extra $100. In the wake of all these her stylists, horror stories, social users have been leaving reviews about concerning experiences. An account titled Official Raw Reviews exposed the stylist Diamond who owns Pink Palace Hair. It didn't take long for social users to find her social accounts. Some even threatened to file a civil lawsuit for discrimination. The stylist hasn't commented on the matter 
publicly. That is ridiculous. A lawsuit on what grounds? Okay, let me read one of these comments, just one. You damn right. Do y'all know how challenging it is to service a child with as such? By the time she done with that client, she could have serviced two full heads. I support the charge. Listen, it's a different, it's a different perspective, and I totally understand, but it's definitely a topic that needs to be had. It really does. It really does. I get both sides. Now, what I would do, this just me, and to each his own. There's more than one way to skin the cat. I wouldn't make such a blanket statement regarding autism. I would uh, base it on a uh, case by case situation. And parents, let's just keep it real. The onus is on you. You know the behavior, most situations of your child and what sounds and what conditions that they're conducive to, of, of, of being in. You know, you know. So it's incumbent upon you to let the stylist know. But even if not, it's going to be on a case-by-case situation. And that's all I'm saying. That's fair. And, of course, the stylist needs to be compensated for that. Or not trying to be funny or not trying to be crass or rude. You have the option of cutting and doing the hair yourself, most definitely. But if you're taking it to a professional, they need to be compensated as such, especially if they're doing a great job. To me, that's only fair. But hey, tell me what you think. Leave the comments, please. It's on the case-by-case -case situations. I'm definitely curious and interested to see where you're going to sleep, which way you're going to lean. Are you on the side of the business owner or on you or on the side of the individuals who feel like, hey, the charge is just too much. It needs to be the uh, even fee across the board. Let me know where you stand. But with that being said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Please share this with your friends and family if you deem necessary. And until next time. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis.